The date is January 13th, 2026. If you've been following the 3i Atlas situation, you know we've moved past speculation and into something far more concrete. What I'm about to show you isn't rumor. It isn't internet conspiracy. It's documented mission telemetry from NASA's own systems. And the implications are staggering. Let's look closer at the data coming from the Deep Space Network. On January 9th at 1437 UTC, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft executed an unscheduled attitude adjustment. The spacecraft rotated its primary imaging array away from the Kuiper Belt, the region it has been studying since its Pluto flyby, and pointed directly at a specific set of coordinates in deep space. Those coordinates correspond exactly to the projected position of 3I, Atlas. Now in the context of standard deep space mission protocols, this shouldn't be happening. New Horizons is nine years into its extended mission. Its trajectory was locked in. Its observation schedule was published months in advance. NASA doesn't casually redirect a billion dollar probe billions of kilometers from Earth without documentation, without press releases, without scientific justification being made public. That is the rule. It is a rule that has held for every NASA mission since the agency's inception. This maneuver breaks that rule. The telemetry doesn't lie. Here is what we know from the tracking data. New Horizons burned 4.2 kilograms of hydrazine fuel for the attitude change. For perspective, that is more fuel than the probe typically uses in six months of routine operations. The maneuver wasn't gentle. It was decisive. The spacecraft's long-range reconnaissance imager, LORI, its most powerful camera, is now locked on 3i Atlas, and it has been holding that position for four days. The fuel expenditure tells us something critical. This wasn't a test. This wasn't a calibration. When you burn that much fuel on a spacecraft that far from resupply, you are committed. You are spending resources. You can never get back for something you believe is worth the cost. This contradicts what we previously thought about New Horizons' mission status. The spacecraft was supposed to be hunting for Kuiper Belt objects, small icy worlds at the edge of the solar system. It was in hibernation mode for much of 2025 to conserve power. Suddenly, in January 2026, it wakes up, pivots hard, and stares at an interstellar visitor that won't even reach its closest approach to Jupiter until March. Why? The silence is deafening. NASA's official statement, released 48 hours after the maneuver was detected by amateur radio astronomers tracking the deep space network, is exactly 73 words long. Let me read it to you in full. New Horizons has adjusted its observation schedule to include supplementary imaging of the interstellar object 3I Atlas, as part of ongoing surveys of trans-Neptunian objects and heliospheric phenomena. The spacecraft remains in nominal health. Mission. Operations continue as planned. Further details will be provided as data is received and processed. So what does this actually mean? It means nothing. This is not a scientific justification. This is a non-answer. Supplementary imaging of an object 2 billion kilometers away that is already being observed by Hubble, by ground-based telescopes, by Juno, New Horizons doesn't have a better view than Hubble. It's not closer to 3i Atlas than Earth is. Its instruments aren't more advanced than what we already have pointed at this object. The statement is a verbal smokescreen, and NASA knows we know it. Here is the crucial detail that makes this even more unsettling. Within six hours of the statement's release, NASA pulled the real-time telemetry data for New Horizons from public access on the eyes on the solar system platform, for the first time since 2015, you can no longer track New Horizons in real time using NASA's visualization tools. The spacecraft still appears in the interface, but its orientation, its exact pointing direction, is now hidden. They don't want us to see where it's looking, what New Horizons can actually see. Let's talk about what New Horizons brings to the table that other observatories don't. The spacecraft is currently 59 astronomical units from the Sun. That is 59 times farther from the Sun than Earth is. It is deep in the outer solar system, far beyond Neptune, looking back toward the inner planets from an angle no Earth-based telescope can match. The th is, is where geometry becomes critical. When you observe an object from two widely separated positions, you get parallax, you get depth, you can measure distance with precision, you can detect motion in three dimensions, not just two. If 3i Atlas is doing something subtle, something that requires measurement from multiple perspectives, New Horizons provides a baseline that is literally astronomical, but there's something else, something more immediate. New Horizons is equipped with the solar wind around Pluto instrument, SWAP, and the Pluto Energetic Particle Spectrometer Science Investigation, Pepsi. These aren't cameras. These are particle detectors. 
They measure charged particles, plasma, and solar wind. They detect disturbances in the magnetic environment of space. If 3I Atlas were to fire a thruster, if it were to eject a high-energy plume, if it were to perform any kind of propulsive maneuver or energy release event, New Horizons particle detectors could sense it, not by seeing light, but by detecting the charged particle signature across billions of kilometers of space. NASA just turned a plasma detector toward 3I Atlas. Think about that. The timing is surgical. This connects directly to the timeline we've been tracking. 3I Atlas will reach its closest approach to Jupiter on March 17, 2026. That is 63 days from now. New Horizons repositioned on January 9th. Why that specific date? Let's look closer at the data concerning signal travel time. New Ho. Horizons is so far from Earth that radio signals take over eight hours to reach it. Commands sent from mission control take eight hours to arrive. Telemetry sent back takes another eight hours to reach us. That is a 16-hour communication loop. The decision to repoint New Horizons wasn't made on January 9th. It was made earlier. The command was uploaded, transmitted, received, executed, and then the confirmation telemetry traveled back to Earth. When we reverse engineer the timeline, accounting for light speed delay, the actual decision to redirect the spacecraft was made no later than January 7th. January 7th. That is the exact date Hubble released the high-resolution images of 3I Atlas showing the fully resolved sunward jet. The images that confirmed beyond doubt that this object is behaving in ways that violate standard cometary physics. NASA saw those images, and within hours they gave the order to move New Horizons, the fuel budget paradox. Here is where the physics puts up a stop sign. New Horizons is running on fumes. The spacecraft power source is a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, an RTG, that decays over time. Every year the spacecraft has less power. Every maneuver costs fuel that cannot be replaced. Mission planners guard hydrazine reserves with extreme jealousy because once it's gone, the mission is over. Burning 4.2 kilograms for a single attitude change is not routine. It's reckless unless you believe the target is worth it. To put this in perspective, E, the fuel spent on this one maneuver could have powered months of Kuiper Belt observations, the stated primary goal of the extended mission. This contradicts what we previously thought about mission priorities. If 3I Atlas were just an interesting comet, an unusual natural object worth a few photos, you don't burn irreplaceable fuel. You observe it with ground-based telescopes. You use Hubble. You use Juno when it gets closer. You don't redirect a spacecraft at the edge of the solar system unless that spacecraft offers something no other platform can provide. So what does New Horizons offer that nothing else does? Distance, angle, particle detection, and perhaps most importantly, deniability. If you want to observe something without drawing attention, use a spacecraft so far away, so isolated, so removed from the public eye that most people forget it exists. The pattern of redirection. This is not the first time NASA has quietly redirected assets toward 3I Atlas. If you go back through observation logs, you'll find something interesting. In December 2025, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, a space telescope designed to study black holes and supernovae, spent 36 hours pointed at 3I Atlas. The observation was logged as director's discretionary time, a category reserved for urgent, high-priority targets, X-rays. NASA pointed an X-ray telescope at what is supposedly a dirty snowball comet. Comets don't emit X-rays. There is no scientific reason to observe a cum. T with Chandra, unless you expect it to be doing something energetic, something that generates high-energy radiation. The data from that observation has not been released. It remains embargoed under preliminary analysis. Then, in early January 2026, the SWIFT satellite, another high-energy observatory, also slewed to 3I Atlas for a brief 12-hour window. Again, no public data release. Again, no explanation beyond target of opportunity. Are we looking at coordinated observation or something more complex? When you map the observation windows, you see a pattern. Ground-based telescopes provide optical imaging. Hubble provides high-resolution structure. Chandra hunts for X-ray signatures. Swift monitors for gamma ray bursts, and now New Horizons, positioned billions of kilometers away, provides particle detection and a unique geometric perspective. This is not casual scientific curiosity. This is a multi-spectrum surveillance grid, what they're not telling us. At this point, I want you to think about what we're not seeing. NASA hasn't issued a single scientific paper on 3I Atlas. The Hubble data was released, yes, but only the images the spectroscopic analysis, the compositional data, the thermal measurements, 
embargoed. The Chandra observations, classified under preliminary review. The New Horizons telemetry, hidden. If this were a purely scientific mission, the data would be flooding out. Scientists live for publication, discovering an anomalous interstellar object, W, will trigger a cascade of papers, press conferences, and peer-reviewed analysis. Instead, we have silence punctuated by vague statements and redacted telemetry. The absence of information is itself information. When agencies stop talking, it means they're deciding what to say. And the longer the silence lasts, the more significant the decision must be. This connects to the question I want you to answer in the comments below. At what point does institutional silence cross the line from scientific caution into active concealment? We have fuel burns, observation time on premium space assets, embargoed data, and public-facing platforms being quietly scrubbed of telemetry. Is there a threshold for you where we're still analyzing the data stops being an acceptable explanation? Let me know what you think. The March deadline, here is the crucial detail regarding the timeline. New Horizons is now holding its position, locked on 3i Atlas, burning power and fuel to maintain that orientation. The spacecraft will continue observations through at least March 17th, that is the date 3i Atlas reaches Jupiter, that is the date we've been watching since the beginning. NASA is not preparing to observe a random comet, they are preparing to witness an event. The coordination of assets, the timing of the maneuver, the expenditure of resources all point to an expectation that something will happen during the Jupiter encounter. If nothing were expected, you wouldn't prep this way. You wool didn't reposition a Kuiper belt probe. You wouldn't burn X-ray telescopes on a comet. You wouldn't embargo data and scrub telemetry feeds. You would observe casually, document routinely, and publish immediately. Instead, we're watching the institutional equivalent of a stakeout. Multiple assets, multiple spectrums, radio silence. The implications narrow. As we established in previous coverage, 3i Atlas has a sunward jet that defies physics, an alignment that defies statistics, and a trajectory that targets Jupiter with surgical precision. We've documented the impossibility of natural orbital capture. Now we add another layer. NASA is tracking this object with resources they can't spare, using tools designed for high-energy phenomena from perspectives that suggest they expect something to happen. The natural object hypothesis is being crushed under the weight of observational preparation. If NASA believed this were just an unusual comet, we'd have papers, press releases, and public data streams. Instead, we have fuel burns, embargoed observations, and scrubbed telemetry. The verdict is narrowing. We are weeks away from March 17th. New Horizons is in position. Juno is waiting at Jupiter. Chandra and Swift are on standby. Ground-based telescopes worldwide have observation time allocated. Humanity is about to witness something. And NASA is prepared for it to be extraordinary. If you want to stay ahead of this story, subscribe now. If this analysis helped connect the dots, hit the like button so the algorithm knows you want coverage of what actually matters. And if you have insights, questions, or your own research, drop them in the comments. We're tracking this together. Until March, keep watching, keep questioning, and keep looking up.